Ship Flight 8501 cruises high above the Java Sea north of Indonesia. The pilot in command is 53-year-old Captain Irianto. He's highly experienced with more than 20,000 hours in the air. His first officer is French national Rémy Emmanuel Plaisel. He is 46 with about 2,000 flight hours, much of it on the Airbus. 22 minutes into the flight, the pilots notice bad weather ahead on their radar. The captain decides to increase altitude to go above the storm clouds in their path. I'm going to radio for a higher cruise, get around that weather. Good idea. But before the captain can contact air traffic control, he gets a fault warning from the flight computer. ECAM actions. The plane's sophisticated computers give the pilot step-by-step -step instructions on how to fix the issue. The pilots now notice that the plane is rolling sharply left. Level. OK, level. Something is going terribly wrong with Flight 8501. The first officer is struggling. Level. But soon, the plane is rolling again. Level. I I'm trying. The pilots can't seem to regain control. <laughs> it's not responding. Pull down. <laughs> It's not correcting. The plane seems to have taken on a life of its own. It climbs higher and higher as the pilots fight to level off. Then, inexplicably, the plane starts to drop. Altitude. I see it. Flight 8501 is plummeting from the sky, speeding toward the ocean below. It seems the pilots can do nothing to save their plane. Pull! It's not correcting. What's going on? Max power. Slowly! <laughs> 43 minutes into what should have been a normal two-hour flight. Air Asia Flight 8501 disappears from radar. Pull! I'm trying! Pull! It's not correcting! Of the 162 passengers and crew, there are no survivors.